uh, change this colour by polarity. So if you connect it to power and you're finding Earth, it goes green. The easiest way of checking them, either a test light, is just find the power on one side and make sure it's there on the other. If you're doing it with a multimeter, yep. you'd set the multimeter to volts. Put one in. So it's just 20 volts, so I think it goes to yeah, yeah, 20 volts normally, and then just check it one between time, the, one uh, the one negative. There. What this does is instead of providing a dead short, this creates a low, so you can see when you found the short. What happens is when there's short in the wire, the globe lights up, and you can actually go along the wire shaking it and working out which section has rubbed through and shorting out on the body. Unfortunately, being a new car, Paul wasn't too happy with letting me cut a wire and shorting it out, so <laughs> otherwise I'll show you how to do it. The hole. The hole. Yeah. If you're out on a bush track, I mean, you got to do this through the side of your grill or you got to... Take it out. It's nice and easy. Yeah. <laughs> Take it out. Yeah. You've got to pull the whole thing out. Uh, this is more like a... You want to find a, a trouble for the engine light coming on or something like that. Okay. Um, this all, is what you can buy those from eBay, yeah? You can buy from eBay, yeah. And what do you connect them into? You can connect it in same, same as what Mitsubishi connected. Which is where? Uh, which is on the... And then you go to the Bluetooth. Uh, you search it. I always uh, connect it. It's called OBD. So you go to OBD in here. And then you can just go to add display. And then you can go to display and then you can put anything you want, like a oh. ambient temperature. She doesn't burn it faster than you. Yeah. <laughs> Pull it just halfway like that? Yeah. And just bend it? Bend it. Like yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And push it in. <laughs> Directly next to that is pin number seven, which is our park lights. If the brake lights weren't working, you'll check the power coming out there. Switches, um, if you're going to fit a switch to your Mitsubishi, try one of these. It fits straight in the blanking plug. You can get whatever you want written on it. They're about 25 bucks, I think. Uh, laser etched, um, fits perfectly and looks like the factory switch. Um, then you've got these other sort of ones, you know, winch uh, controls, in-cab winch controls. They're fantastic. Light bars, pick that up when you get a chance. You can see that that's quite heavy. Um, there's a lot of competition for light bars on the market. The cheap Chinese one necessarily isn't the worst, but it's not necessarily the best. You need to look at what technology is in the bar. 18 watt Cree LEDs uh, is three times as bright as some of the double row 5 watt. It's all about the technology of what's in there and pick it up. You know, you pick it up and there's no weight in it, you sort of got to ask questions. Now, look at the two differences. This one's longer, that's for a raised application. That's for a non-raise, it's a standard shopper. Now, there's nothing wrong with this shopper, it's, it's a good shop absorber, but look at the size of it. This one's got four times as much oil in it. It's pretty much instant, isn't is it? it? Must be anaerobic then, it must be by the heat. It's sort of spreading nicely. Mm. You're going to use this one first? So you have to use that one first? Yeah, but make sure it's a bit dry and clean. Oh, it's like a powder. So you, you didn't really wait till it dried though, did you? It's going to dry in a few seconds. Oh, seconds, is it? And then you have to do that again? No. If it doesn't leak, it doesn't leak.